Today we will discuss about work folder, how to implement work folder on a server machine. So here I have two machines, H3 VM1 and H3 VM2, I mean two virtual machines. So on the first machine, the one I'm using right now, I will install work group. So let me log into that machine with the administrator username and password. So first I want to have folder need to be created with a name. So here I'm giving work folder and I am sharing this. Now I'm going to DNS uh, manager. Uh, there I'm going to create a domain name, a, I mean a code, a, I mean error code. Uh, the name is work folders and my domain name is rolla.com. So the name is workfolders.local dot uh, dot com. And the IP address of this machine is as you can see it's 70.1. So let me put that IP address so that the work folder clients can reach this PC with this name, that is ID. And now I need to create users. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to create only one user and uh, and uh, for in uh, real environment, maybe you need to use uh, more, many users. So create multiple users and keep them in a group. Okay, now I finish adding that user to a group. So here my username is admin. Okay, that portion is over. Uh, next portion is I need a certificate from the certificate authority in this environment I have a CA and this is my CA also so I'm going to request a CA for this uh, for the web server so now I'm creating a request so with the same DNS name that I did the name was uh, workfolders.rolla.com so I'm choosing the common name as workfolders.rola.com and give other informations uh, it's up to you and this information will be stored in the uh, certificate authority server so I'm choosing the default one and saving this uh, request file to desktop so that I can use it later 
okay now the request is created and it is available on my desktop so let me open this and this is my request and let me copy this and uh, now I'm using a web enrollment uh, feature of certificate authority so let me contact the certificate authority by web so cert as CRTSRV and I need to provide the credentials yeah so here I'm requesting for a certificate and uh, yeah and now I need to copy that request and choose the certificate template I'm using the default template that is web server once the request is submitted the CA will give me an option to download the certificate okay let me save this uh, file and now I'm installing that downloaded certificate to my certificate store okay and uh, okay now I have the certificate in my PC so now I'm going back to the web server Okay, let me bind that certificate on port number 443. Yeah, I'm choosing HTTPS and choose the IP address and type the name. The time the name must be same as the DNS name so so that they can contact each other. Name is very important when it comes to the certificate creation and also the host name. Okay. So let me select that proper SSL certificate and click OK and binding is done. For this work folder, you need to stop the web server. Okay, my certificate portion is over again. Now, let me install the work folder feature. It's available under files and storage services. Once the work folder feature is installed, we need to run the service manually. Otherwise, it may give you error at, at the end of creating a work folder. So better to start the service before you configure the work folder file share. So I'm at the services window. Then I need to find out Windows Sync Share. Yeah, this one. Right click, as you can see, it's uh, not started. I'm just starting manually. Once it is done, I'm going straight to the server manager and then what folder. And now I'm creating a what folder share. So I'm choosing the same shared folder that I did in the beginning. So user alias at domain is my option and uh, I need to add that particular group. Yeah. 
yes then click next and finish it so now I need a Windows 10 client machine to do this lab so I'm going to Windows 10 and I'm trying to log in with the same admin credentials Let me search for what folder feature. You can search from the taskbar or from go to the settings and search for what folder. Yeah, here it is. Now set up for what folders. Just click it. and then enter the work folder URL, the same URL which we created earlier, that is uh, workfolders.rola.com. So when you click OK, it start contacting the server and picks up the settings and uh, it will finish the everything. Like. So if you receive an error at this point, you need to check the certificate or other issues. Okay. So now he picks up the settings and everything and uh, it shows up, it will show up the space that you can use it. So let me give the credentials for finishing this purpose. So the work folder is on my, my computer's uh, page. There you can find the work folders folder. So whatever the data I'm just copying into that folder will be go straight to the uh, folder in my server and it will synchronize and one copy will be available in my PC as well as in my server now you can see 19.4 GB is actually the capacity of the shared folder in my server so if you increase or decrease or you can restrict them using uh, MR space so let me copy a small file into it Once it's done, it will synchronize with the server. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my video.